The mission for this video is to introduce you to Jasmine. By the end of it, you will know what it is, why it has become so famous in the JavaScript world to do testing. Jasmine is a BDD framework. BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. I call it TDD++. This test driven development plus plus. The reason being, when you do TDD, yes, we drive our development by writing tests first, but we make a lot of assumptions on the requirement side. We don't directly link up the requirements or specifications or acceptance criteria with the tests we write. Whereas in BDD, we directly link up the acceptance criteria in our stories or requirements directly with the tests. And the way we do it is with using these this syntax given when then given an initial context or an application when the user does something or when something happens then this is the expected behavior that is how typically we write a BDD test and this when and then are directly linked to the acceptance criteria Jasmine beautifully fits into the BDD by providing us the syntax we need to do BDD in JavaScript there are two important functions the describe and then the it. Describe takes two parameters. The very the example I have here is an ATM example. Given an ATM, when a withdrawal is made, it should give money. So this is the acceptance criteria here. You can organize your test into test suit, test case, test steps by having multiple describe functions. A describe function takes two parameters. The first one is a string, which allows you to set the context. It doesn't do anything on its own, it's just for the developer to see uh, and know what's happening or even we can define the acceptance criteria here so that we know which acceptance criteria we are linking up here. The second parameter is a function. Within this function we can have another describe block and I'm saying when a withdrawal is made, again the second parameter is a function within which I have an it block that is where we actually write our test. Inside this is I am saying should give money and for that I am going to assert within this it block or it function it takes two parameters again string and another function within this function I am going to use expects and all the other functions given by Jasmine to assert that what is coming back from the class or the JavaScript module under test is what we are expecting. You can also do verify. You can verify if the functions that you expect to be called when this thing happens are being called or not. There are several functions in the JavaScript framework. You can also use third party libraries like Sinon.js, which I'll be showing you in the future to do that. So it's that easy to do BDD simply using the describe it and the various expects that is given by Jasmine. Typically we tie up the acceptance criteria in our stories in the agile space or requirements or specifications directly to the test. That way if some requirement changes we can immediately see that there is no test for it or the tests will start failing and then we will have to change our code accordingly. Once you start downloading uh, Jasmine and uh, try out a few examples, once I do my hands on I will show you how to do that, you will realize that at the end of each test you will have something called spec. The name of the file will be spec because you are directly linking up the acceptance criteria to your tests. So that acceptance criteria is nothing but requirements or specifications. Uh, typically in the Java world we used to name our tests with, we used to append our tests with test at the end but here you will see spec is a standard that we follow. To quickly summarize, Jasmine is a behavior driven development framework for JavaScript world and it provides us the syntax for given, when, then, typically, which the BDD asks us to follow by giving us functions like describe, it, and expect. You can have any number of describes to organize your tests as test suit, test cases, then the actual test steps. Each test will be written in a it function. You can have multiple it functions depending on positive scenario, negative scenario, etc. that you want to test.